parts that come into the health nucleus, for the most part, come in healthy. They do not know of disease risk. They are concerned, but they do not have a diagnosis. What the health nucleus does is to identify by the new technologies the risk of a disease and then gives them a pathway to intervene on that disease. So one of the most rewarding cases that I was involved in was a doctor who came in, but concerned about his brother who had a serious diagnosis. We clarified the diagnosis, corrected the diagnosis, got his brother on proper therapy, and in fact, he had the early signs of the illness and was placed on therapy earlier than his brother without error. So rather than uh, hiding your head and not knowing the information, it's best to get the information and then intervene on the problem. Detection of cancer risk is easily done through the DNA sequencing technology. We know the genes involved, we know what to look for. We can forecast you're at increased risk for cancer. To be at increased risk doesn't mean you're gonna get cancer. It's not making a diagnosis of cancer but it says we need to follow you and to make sure we detect early and correct. The second area is you've actually got cancer and it's undetected. You don't know about it, your doctor doesn't know about it, but our technology found it early. Those cases respond to early surgery. There are images that are associated with doctors today that are traditional. For example, you'll always always see a doctor with a stethoscope. We don't use stethoscopes very much, but it's the image of a physician. The next image of a physician is going to be probably the smartphone, because that's where knowledge flows, and it comes in from the various technologies, for example, that we have out of the health nucleus. So we're in a different era of medicine in which we have huge loads of data that need to be condensed and interpreted not the stethoscope. My, my passion for helping people have a longer, healthier life is uh, pretty much e e exemplified in my own family, my two parents. My dad, who was an extremely hardworking guy, uh, built the Liberty Boats during World War II, died at age 60 with coronary artery disease. My mother comes from a family that had great longevity. She died at 104. And I think frequently about how much life they would have had together between 60 and 104 if I had intervened on that coronary artery disease. That's what you hope to do.